I know I've been uploading the most random videos the last couple months, but this is probably going to be the most off-brand video I will ever make. If you're like me and your entire life is based on social media, then you've probably heard of Fashion Nova more than one time. This literally sounds like a sales page. Anyways, I spend a lot of time on social media. That's basically what I'm saying. So one, I'm depressed as shit. And two, I see a lot of influencers basically promoting the same brands. I follow a lot of Instagram models on Instagram because I like to make myself incredibly insecure. I don't know why. And a lot of them promote Fashion Nova. A lot of them advertise for Fashion Nova. And everything that they seem to post is very positive. Everybody seems to love them. So I decided to test it out for myself. I just feel like something that has really cheap clothing and really fast shipping, there's no fucking way that it's going to be what you think it is, you know what I mean? So I decided to do an investigation. My brother's girlfriend also buys most of her clothing from Fashion Nova and she said a lot of positive things about it. She actually gave me a shirt that she got from Fashion Nova that didn't really fit her. I ended up not really liking it so I gave it away. But what I did is I went on to Fashion Nova and I looked through it and they have a lot of really cute things. I went and I bought some stuff. I spent, I think, like $90 but then one thing was out of stock after I ordered it which makes no sense to me. So they refunded me the money for that one item. It came really quickly, it was like three days shipping. I think you have to pay for shipping. I'm almost positive that I did. It doesn't say on here, but I'm pretty sure I paid for shipping. I can't imagine that it's free, especially with how quick it is and with how cheap the clothing is. I feel like they have to make their money somewhere. So I have three things. I should have had four, but again, one thing got sold out after I already bought it. And I'm going to show you what the fuck I bought. So far, I'm not impressed at all. I don't necessarily understand the hype. This is my first time buying stuff on Fashion Nova and I'm severely disappointed. I don't know if I just happened to buy the three worst items on the website, but I was so excited to receive these because I thought they were all going to be like absolutely amazing. Two of them were actually items that I've been looking for for a really long time and I'll show you what they are and then they just, they don't work for the dumbest reasons and I'll show you that. It's like they have potential to be cute, but then there's just like the weirdest things going on and I don't understand it. So I'm gonna go through the items and then I'm gonna show you what they look like on. I also feel like Fashion Nova is more for like the slim thick ladies, you know what I mean? And I'm just like slim stick so it's rough it's a rough life their sizes don't really make sense to me but we're gonna get okay we're gonna get into that but this is the first item that I got I've actually been looking for shorts like this for a very long time so if any of you know where I can find some that like aren't see-through and don't look like shit let me know also I thought that these were going to be white when I ordered them so that's my fault I just I guess I don't know how to read which whatever so these are like cream shorts these are an extra small, I think. No, 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 these are a small. They don't have extra small shorts, I don't think. Or, okay, there's like extra small in some stuff and then small in some stuff. So I just got a small because I looked at the sizing chart and it seemed like they would fit. And they do, but weird. So these are just like cream high-waisted tie-up shorts. I don't know how to describe it. It says Casa del Sol tie waist. These were $14.99, which really isn't that bad for what they are. They're not horrible quality, but they are like completely see-through, which is inconvenient. What do you guys do when shit see-through? Like, what do you wear underneath that? I really don't understand. Also, things are already coming off. Like, it's already... Ah. <laughs> These had potential to be really cute, and I still go back and forth. I'm hesitating on whether or not I want to return them, because I feel like I might be able to make them work. They're just so fucking frumpy. I just know that I could find something cuter and find something I actually really like, and I just feel like I'm settling because I've been looking for these shorts for so long. But you can literally see the tag shining through in the light, in the sun. Why can you not see that on camera? Take my word for it, you can literally see the tag oh yeah you could see it it's completely see-through so I'm gonna show you what these look like on I literally had to put these white gnats these spank things underneath because that's how see-through they are just for some context I'm like five six five seven and I weigh probably like 115 pounds they're not the worst shorts in the entire world that's why I'm tempted to keep them because I don't hate them but I just don't love how like frumpy they are I just feel like they do nothing for me you know what I mean the length is really good except for when I wear these shorts the lace kind of peeps through but you know what I can fix that and even with the white shorts underneath they're still kind of see-through because the white shorts themselves are see-through and then the spanks are see-through so I'm kind of fucked this by the way is from forever 21 it was like five dollars actually it's probably like ten but this is what I'm talking about I can get this for ten dollars I could probably find shorts like this for ten dollars I just don't know if it's worth it to have to pay for the shipping and then wait for it to come in and then me want to return them because they're not that amazing I don't know how I feel. I like them sometimes. Like right now, looking at myself, I like them. But then again, I don't have my glasses on. I can't really see the viewfinder. But when I'm half blind, they don't look half bad. Okay, well maybe when I'm editing this, I'll see how frumpy I am, and then I won't want to keep them. 
Moving on, this next shirt is the other one that I'm debating. I'm like, ugh, I don't know if I keep this because I feel like I can make it work, but at the same time, it's horrible and I hate it. The next two shirts, the sizing confuses me so much. The next two shirts, I only have two shirts. So this is an extra small and this was $19.99. The shorts were the cheapest thing and then the next shirt was the most expensive thing. So this is the shirt. And when I saw this, I was like, wait, that is the cutest shirt I've ever seen in my entire life. When I ordered it, I didn't think it would be so short, but I feel like it's really short on me because I kind of have boobs for like someone my size, I have decent boobs. But this shirt does not accommodate for boobs at all. If you have absolutely no boobs, I would recommend getting this shirt. If you have any sort of thing going on, it's like torture, it suffocates the fuck out of you. It does not stretch at all. There's no stretching ability in this shirt. This patch back here, this is stretchy, but it does nothing for the rest of the shirt because it's just that patch and it's like seamed up so you can't stretch it at all. So when you put this on, it is skin tight. And I feel like if I got a small, it might be a little bit better, but I'm scared that if I get a small, the sleeves are gonna be too big and too loose and just kind of fall off. I don't want that. So I honestly feel like my best bet is to just return it and just forget about it. But at the same time, sometimes when I put this on, I think it's really cute, but you'll see, it just really does nothing for me, but I'll talk more about it when I have it on, because then I can point out certain things. I'm not kidding, this shirt literally hurt me to put it on. It like scratches you. It's the most uncomfortable material in the entire world. Again, it's not the worst thing in the world, but I just don't like it enough to keep it. It's really cropped, but I like it with these shorts because it doesn't show that much. And if you know me, I'm not a huge person on like showing skin. I'm very modest. I'm used to wearing like, giant t-shirts and giant sweatshirts. So this is me trying to step out of my comfort zone a little bit, which I like it and I feel good. But at the same time, do I like it enough to keep it? I feel like all of you are gonna be like, it's really not that bad. I don't know what you're complaining about. But I had high expectations for the amount of people advertising this shit. My plan was to also wear these two together when I thought these were white, but now it just, it doesn't work. I don't love how high up this comes. I wish it sat a little bit lower because it does really nothing and it looks really awkward from the side. Like I'm wearing a life jacket, it hurts. Like I cannot breathe. But again, I'm looking at it in the viewfinder and I'm like, oh, it's not that bad. I should just keep it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm struggling now. Now I'm, oh my God, I'm questioning everything in my entire life. And we're moving on. The last shirt, I don't know what I was thinking. This looked really cute online and I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to defend myself with this one because I know that this is ugly as fuck. Trust me, I fucking get it. But I have my reasons for why I bought this and why I thought it would work. I know, I know, trust me, I know. This is probably one of the ugliest things I've ever purchased. And like, I did this, I bought this. This was $29.99. I don't know who took over my body when I was on the website or why they thought this was a good idea, but they need to be dead. So this is my Princess Jasmine cosplay. I thought, okay, here's my thing. I really like shirts with this cut right now with like the straight across. I feel like it's really flattering. Maybe not like this so much because this is strapless, but I do like the neckline of this. I think it's really pretty and really flattering. However, the sleeves, I promise they didn't look like this online. I promise. I swear they looked way less like this, like fucking poofy and fuzzy and flowy and I don't know what this is. It's also too short, which okay, I get that I'm a lanky bitch, trust me, I know. So it's fine, it's totally fine that they're short because a lot of things are usually pretty short on me. This is a small, I think. No, this is an extra small. With the last shirt and with this shirt, this part fits fine, perfectly fine. And this is stretchy, so I guess maybe that's the difference in it. But even without it stretching, it fits perfectly. Like I don't feel like I'm suffocating and I don't feel like I have to stretch it out to put it on over my boobs. But the other shirt, it's like, <gasps> I know it's the fabric, but it's still fucking annoying. And then the sleeves are too short. So it's like this part fits, but the sleeves don't. And it's just ugly in general. I also didn't think this would be so like minty when I saw it online. I thought it would be like a less bright color. I was gonna get it in white, but everything I buy is literally white because I'm trying not to wear as much black anymore. So I went with the mint just impulsively and that was a horrible idea. But I'm gonna try that one on for you and we're gonna talk about it. Hey guys, what's up? This is my Princess Jasmine cosplay. I really, really thought that this one was going to be the one. I thought this was gonna be the cutest shirt that I've ever bought. I love this portion. I think it's really flattering. I already said that. I'm gonna use my hands to talk because you can't see my face. My tripod's not tall enough for this bitch. I love this portion. This portion, this, I just don't really understand. They're so fucking short. Like, 
Oh, my camera stopped recording. Look at this shit. Also, I literally have the boniest arms in the whole world, but come on, these sleeves are awful. Maybe if I pin them up, was that a cute look? Just do some of this shit. I am returning this no matter what. This was $30. I just, I can't, I cannot, I can't keep this. Even when I have my arms down, they're so short still. I just, it just doesn't fit. I don't like it. I was thinking maybe I could cut the sleeves off, but the seam is really awkward right here. So I don't, I don't think I could. I don't think I could fix this. I'm gonna try to make it work, but it ain't happening. So I'm probably gonna return this one. Yeah, Jasmine is a no. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to return these three items and then I can't even get my money back. They don't do refunds. You can only get store credit, which is bullshit. There's literally a plane falling onto my building right now. Is nobody concerned about this? It's just a man walking casually, hello. Even if you return everything in 30 days, they will not give you your money back. You literally have to buy something else on the website. So, since I don't have a choice, I think I'm gonna return these three things and then I'm gonna order new stuff and I'm going to see if it gets better. So, if you guys are interested, I can make this like a little series, like investigating Fashion Nova, I don't know. I just wanna see what the hype is all about. I feel like so many people promote this website and their clothing just isn't worth it. Like, this is so cheap feeling and it's not, nice like none of this feels like good material and i get that it's cheap but is that really worth it because it's not gonna last in the long run i buy most of my clothes from forever 21 their stuff is so cheap and it's not like the best fabric in the entire world but i do feel like my clothing is going to last like this is from forever 21 and it's like a jean material i think i paid like 19 dollars for this and it's a dress like this is the cutest shit and it's got pockets and i do feel like this is going to last me much longer than any of this. Like I paid $30 for this cheap costume. That's what it feels like. It's like a dance costume. And I can go to my Forever 21 and just pick out things, try it on, know that I'm gonna like it. And then it's, I go home and it's just that. With this stuff, it's like I have to go on their website and hope for the fucking best, get it, and then I have to pay to return it and I don't even get my money back. I guess I understand why people wanna promote it. If they do like their clothing, they shop there all the time. The clothing actually fits them and they don't have issues with any of the shapes and weirdness of their body. But for the rest of us, we just get fucked over. Never getting a Fashion Nova brand deal after this. I know this is a very random video, especially for my channel, but I do feel like it could be helpful for somebody out there. I would just be careful because I know a lot of people are promoting these brands who aren't exactly the best brands to promote. I'm not talking about Fashion Nova necessarily. I do think they have cute clothes and I feel like you could find something that works for you. But there are brands out there that pay a lot of money for people to promote them and they end up being scams or they end up being this and that. And I feel like we don't have enough honest people on YouTube actually talking about their real thoughts on any of this shit. I mean, obviously there's people who are like, okay, you're dumb as fuck, you're promoting a scam. But I just feel like not enough people are trying it out and talking about it and being honest. Maybe they are, and maybe I'm just missing it. I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna return this stuff tomorrow because I bought this on the 3rd of April and it is May 1st, which basically means that I have two days to return it or I'm stuck with all three of these pieces of shit. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. I can't even, can't even lift my arms up. That shit hurts. Okay, bye. I've never filmed a video where I film it in like sections. So I'm filming the whole sit down part here and oh my god I get up and like try everything on and pretend like I didn't just film the entire video which is gonna be awkward okay well see how this goes this is what it's like to be a fashion youtuber I guess all right see ya